There's not much that can keep Kay out of the skies, but we're going to find out what can in the hangar. Welcome to this special episode of In The Hangar here at Air Venture. We're actually at the Flying Eyes booth. You can use our discount code taking off, all caps, one word for 10% off. I'm Bailey Ward. And I'm Chelsea Smith. We're going to be hosting this very special episode with our friend Kay this afternoon. But while you're in the area, be sure to stop by the Flying Eyes booth. And if we missed you here at Oshkosh, you can find them online. I'll plug my own code. Here you can we go. Use all caps, CHEL, C-H-E-L-S. Ah, a little competition there, I yeah. like it. Well, Kay, thank you so much for being here today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got started in aviation. Obviously, we know you're a sensation, but I'm really interested in how you began your journey. Absolutely, so long story short, six years ago, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, and I knew that the biggest thing was I wanted to travel. I wanted to meet people, I wanted to experience new things, try new foods, and just do the most that I could, especially since I was so young. So I looked at becoming a flight attendant, and I decided if I'm gonna go through all of this, I might as well just get to the meat and potatoes and be <laughs> in front of the airplane doing all the flying, and that's what I decided to do. That's awesome. Okay, so you say you were so young. About when did you start? When I was 21 is when I got interested. That's awesome. So. Okay, so we talked in the beginning. We mentioned something that can keep you out of the skies. Yes. I know you just released a crazy video regarding this subject. Tell us a little bit about that. So I just recently bought a multi-engine airplane. Her name is Mystic. You can actually see it on my shirt ah, here. I love it. <laughs> Always come prepared. <laughs> and this is my first real long cross country that I've been doing in the airplane. And I wanted to knock that out to find out everything I wanted to get fixed, anything I wanted to get changed, because it is now an annual. Ah. So I decided to fly to St. Louis to go and watch a Cardinals baseball game. <laughs> it was supposed to be a 24-hour trip, and it turned into a four-day trip, which cost me a lot of money and a lot of time. But long story short, 20 minutes before landing my door latch broke the door popped open we you couldn't had get a it fly closed. with bruno moment i right? did that's what happened to him <laughs> yes i did and it was the first time i've ever experienced something like that so it's very thankful to have my pops on board with me many of you already know him you love him he's been getting a little bit of heat in the comments from that video but he did a great job of just keeping me calm helping when he needed to and ultimately holding that door closed until we could get to a slow enough speed Right, but. that's incredible. Okay, so you've mentioned your pops. I've yes. also seen lots of videos with your mom. Yes. So how does she think about you flying? Is she interested in flying? So I'm still holding out hope that someday I'm gonna be able to teach her how to fly. And if you're watching this, mom, I'm still holding out hope <laughs> on that. But as of right now, she loves the idea of traveling. We're actually gonna go and do a girls trip with a few friends oh, and fun. fly to New Orleans. That'll be really fun, and she'll be in the front, but I guarantee you she won't touch anything. <laughs> she'll bring a book or she'll take a nap, and then it'll be time to land. She'll love that. Hey, well, speaking of books, I know that you have published one yourself. Tell us a little bit about that. I have. So what a lot of people don't know is when I became a pilot, it was to get to the airlines. I wanted to build my hours as quickly as I possibly could, and unfortunately, the timing of COVID-19, I was actually employed with a regional airline and set up to go to a major airline when and all of the students stopped doing their flight training. And yep. as soon as that happened, there was no more jobs and there was no more way for me to, you know, build up that experience and build that flight time. And unfortunately, that is why I wasn't able to build any flight time for like six months. Wow. And I love flying. It's part of the reason why I became a pilot is I love to fly. Absolutely. So I started renting. That didn't work out very well because so did everybody else in the area. <laughs> and then I bought my Piper Cherokee 180 that millions of people around the world know as Lil Red. Yes, I was going to mention it. I noticed your necklace. Yes, <laughs> it's got both Lil Red and Mystic. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I'm very big on branding if you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it kind of turned into, got to the airport one day, decided to film a quick video on TikTok and that kind of catapulted into what it is today. Wow, that's incredible. So do you still have Little Red? No. No, you oh. sold Little Red. I did have to pass it off to another family. I did actually get to meet him and fly with him. He bought it to train his kids, and I was like, you know what? The Piper Cherokee 180 is a fantastic option. There's a lot of great out airplanes out there, but at least it's going to somebody who is going to use it and treat it well. And Very I cool. also let him know that if he ever decides to sell it, he's got to call me first. <laughs> Yes, so yeah. that's awesome that yeah. he's using it to teach his kids as well. I think that's really cool. Yeah. So kind of on that note, I know you do a lot of work for pilots to the rescue. Is that correct? Yes. 
So tell us about that. I love that. I love that you are using your powers for good, as Christy would like to say. Yes. But also for our little pups out there. Absolutely. It was a really cool experience. And unfortunately, the one time that I did go and I was supposed to do a longer flight, it was supposed to be like a six-hour flight, uh, both of the airplanes were not working at that time. So oh. we were able to still go and actually meet some of the rescue animals. And what a lot of people don't know, a little fun fact, is I'm actually allergic to both cats and dogs, but that's not <laughs> keeping me down. I will be in that airplane every time I can, especially with all of the cats and dogs. So, a girl. Yeah. Well, cool. So speaking of things that maybe people don't know about you, what's something that your followers don't know about you, aviation related, that's not <laughs> having to do with cats uh, and dogs? Let's see. I would say... A lot of people don't know this, but I actually am a certified flight instructor. I do have my certified flight instructor instrument. I do also have my multi-engine, and it's not new. I got that six years ago, wow. and I was only utilizing my single engine because I was making videos on social media and just building my flight time. So a right. lot of people thought, hey, you know, she bought a multi-engine. She must be getting her ratings. I've actually had it for quite some time. Wow. So there's a fun fact. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. So what's next for you in 484 Hotel Papa? I love that you know it. That is awesome. <laughs> my, uh, so I actually, my signature is in a bunch of the maintenance logs on that plane. I know that plane oh, pretty well. That's right. I was just talking about the YouTube video that I saw. So that's very cool. Oh my gosh, small world. Yeah. <laughs> I have to come to San Marcos and actually hang out with you guys. I'm, you're I'm hopping a skip nowadays. But the um, biggest thing that I have planned actually is Bahamas. I'm going to go do some Bahamas flying. One of the biggest reasons I wanted to get a multi-engine is two engines is better than one over the water. And I've never done any international flying. So very I think that cool. that's going to be really exciting. Very awesome. cool. The Bahamas is a fantastic location for any aviation stuff. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I need to experience it for myself firsthand now. 484 Hotel Papa, beautiful Piper Seneca. Can you tell me more about the plane, stats-wise, how far, what's your range now, Absolutely. about the engines, all that kind of stuff? So the one that I have was made in 1981. It is a Piper Seneca 3 in fantastic condition. It actually has Avidyne and Dynan uh, avionics in it. I do have a backup Garmin system as well, so I'm fully set up for anything if anything ever goes wrong. And uh, I can get about 1,000 miles on a full tank of gas, so it carries 130. 30 gallons, 123 gallons are actually usable. And if I lean it out properly, I like going in uh, economy cruise when I do longer flights. I can get about five hours of flight time before I have to start worrying about where I'm gonna land if I haven't already planned it. That's awesome. Very okay, cool. so one last question here. Obviously you have a big following. What's something that you would say to pilots who are maybe seeing your channel, love your vibe, wanna get into it, what's your piece of advice? Biggest piece of advice is do it. All you have to do is film something and post it. You never know what kind of response you're going to get. Ignore the hate comments. Just let them fuel you and just keep doing what you want to do. If you want to keep making videos and they're not picking up steam, just keep doing it. As long as you're still having fun with it and you're enjoying it, it's worth it to take the time. And if it's something that you love to do, it's always going to be worth it. Absolutely. I love that. Well, Kay, thank you so much for being here with us today at AirVenture. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. This is so fun. Guys, thank you for watching. Obviously, this couldn't be possible without y'all, and this couldn't be possible without our sponsors as well. So special thanks to Flying Eyes. Like we mentioned, we're here at the Flying Eyes booth. Also, Clemens Insurance, Marshall Protective Services. That's mpsprotects.com. Cult of Mortgage, Z Vision, and 67 Designs and 67designs.com. Thank you guys again. Please like this video, subscribe. We'll, get, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time in the in hangar. In the hangar. <laughs>